Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. Cornish Chris here, um, back on the River Tweed, this time fishing at uh, uh, Ashistel, I think it's called. Um, yeah, so Upper Tweed. Um, this could be my last day uh, for 2022. Um, it's all really gonna depend on the weather. We've got a weather front moving in. Uh, the river's quite low at the minute, um, but it could very easily go straight up um, with this weather front. So I'm just going to do a few hours, uh, see how we get on. If you're new to my channel, please know that uh, I record videos regardless of whether or not I catch a fish. For me, it's all about the experience of the day. And if you enjoy those kind of things, please uh, consider subscribing and give me a big thumbs up. Well, here we go. Cheers. Well, good morning everyone. Thank you for joining me once again. Cornish Chris back on the River Tweed at Ashtiels, I want to say. Uh, Ashtiels? Anyway, um, I won't continue to butcher these names like I've been doing over the last uh, few weeks. I'm fishing today and it's November and as I was saying in my introduction this could be my last day on the Tweed. I've not booked anything uh, anything further uh, quite on purpose really. Um, what I've discovered is this amazing app called the River App. I spoke about it in my uh, Ely Bank video and it basically it's actually for whitewater rafting and uh, kayaking, but it measures the flow and uh, river height, etc. And it, it pulls up the information automatically. And what you can do is you can go into each, uh, uh, like um, each of the monitoring stations, and you can set them as your favourites and you can get an idea of what the river flow is like. So, for instance, for, uh, uh, for here, it's uh, Peebles. And, you know, at the moment, the river is half a metre, something like that, I think it is. 0.56 of a metre. Um, and obviously that's, that's way, way, way down. It was something like I don't know, 1.8 or 2.2 meters or something like that. When I came up here to fish earlier in the week. So it just shows how, um, uh, how much the river has dropped. And so what I've realized is, which I've, there's no realization for seasoned salmon fishermen, I'm sure, is that, uh, 
by checking the river flow you can uh, work out whether or not it's worthwhile to fish. Now it's very convenient for people who live next to a river. I absolutely get that. It's, you know, if you happen to be an hour or so away or less from a river like the Tweed, then it's a good gauge. And I know, it, I appreciate it doesn't always work, especially if you're from Cornwall and you're trying to work out the river. But the way it's benefited me is that I have, uh, you know, uh, I'm up here for a, a considerable period of time. And that means that I can book relatively late for a beat, uh, or sorry, for a fishery, based upon the information that's uh, coming through on that river app. So, I mean, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say more of a challenge if you you know you're planning to come up for a week and you've booked your time off and that's the only time you can get like I used to you know I get that but if you can come up for a couple of weeks then you could potentially book your fishing a little bit later on certainly on day tickets based upon the information given in the uh, in the river flow and the app so yeah uh, so also as I said in my introduction you know that the river uh, sorry not the river the weather is running it, you know we've got another band of heavy rain coming in and I'm here just after nine and so that means that it could potentially, the river could come back up again and it wouldn't be worth fishing. Uh, so as I say, this could be my last, last day on the river. To put it into uh, context as well, from, from the perspective of my films, uh, I was meant to fish here the day after Ely Bank. In actual fact, as you know, it was a two day, uh, I spent two days at Ely Bank but it was split up by the weekend to let the river drop. So in actual fact, I fished Ely Bank yesterday and now I've got this, this one today. Can I also say huge, huge thank you to all of the amazing people who've subscribed to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, amazing comments, amazing likes and feedback, suggestions, uh, and, and encouragement, uh, you know, I, I, I really am extremely grateful. It's uh, a very frustrating sport. And, uh, you know, it, your support is much appreciated, it really is. Also, um, given I know when this video is going to come out. This is probably my first chance to say Happy New Year to you all. Uh, this video is probably going to uh, be coming out sometime in January um, based upon my uh, filming and release schedule. Uh, so Happy New Year to you all. Uh, let's hope that 2023 will be uh, a better year for everybody concerned uh, with lots of tight lines and great salmon photographs and experiences and pictures. Uh, so where are you going to go uh, this year? What are your plans? Um, are you heading off for, uh, for Springers? What are you doing? Uh, I'd love to know where you're going to go this year. Drop it in the comments section below. Let me know. You never know, we might bump into each other, like I've bumped into a couple of people now uh, who follow my channel, which is awesome. Lovely to meet everybody. Uh, just while I'm getting a leaf off my line. I'm fishing with this today. Um, I bought this the other day. This is a... Um, what is it? <laughs> I forgot what it's called now. Oh, Red Francis, but it's like a tube fly, a little uh, smaller tube fly. I just 
felt that I was kind of catching the bottom. Uh, there wasn't much uh, availability, to be fair, or you know, much um, choice. Uh, but if you are in this area, in the Tweed Melrose sort of area, I found a fantastic tackle shop um, with a great supply of um, uh, flies and materials and stuff. And it's called Borders. Uh, it's a gun and tackle shop. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, actually. Like, um, you know, like the old school type um, uh, fishing shops, you know, not necessarily like the big uh, online beasts. Uh, and don't get me wrong, you know, I, I really rate uh, um, Edinburgh Angling, uh, fishing megastore, all that kind of stuff. That's great. But, you know, when you're on site and you really need you know, just those few bits and pieces are uh, definitely worthwhile uh, going in there. In fact, I've got to go in there again. I'm not sure. It all depends. If I've got any more fishing booked, I'm going to have to go in there again because I've, um, at uh, Edibank, I dropped my uh, snips. And so today I'm using a pair of old pliers from... Uh, uh, that I use in the caravan occasionally uh, for repairs and stuff. So I'm, I'm having to use that. Uh, you know, they're fine, but they're quite bulky and they take up a lot of room in the pocket. Um, yeah, so borders, that's a highly recommendation. A high, oh God, that's a recommendation for you. All right, so I am fishing here this morning at the, I think it's, this is the Gladys pool. And I've just entered at the top. Uh, I'm just casting my line across. No Gilly today, he's gone on holiday. Uh, but I did meet uh, a, a river guide who's uh, a bit further down the beat with a couple of people just starting in salmon fishing. I thought, oh, fantastic. That's great news. Uh, great news, father and son, fantastic, you know. They picked a lovely day for it. I hope they didn't put them off. Yeah, so there we are. Well, I've uh, fished through Gladys Pool, I think. I think I'm towards the end of it now and I'm just going to keep fishing. The weather is just getting worse and worse. What started off as light rain is now starting to become heavier rain. And uh, yeah. So I, I was uh, said in the previous video, I'm not sure how much of the road noise you're going to pick up here. But as I said in the previous video, looking at a new set of waders, you know, any suggestions, ideas, be gratefully received. Uh, a jacket as well, you know. Oh, it gets quite shut up here. These Sierra waders, I mean, they have done me pretty well. The wading jacket is about two years old. The actual waders I've got on uh, ones I bought in the summer. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, I bought them in the summer. I mean, they're fine. But, you know, sometimes you stood in your waders and you start to feel cold in certain areas and you think, have I got a leak? And they just seem to go at the seams. So any kind of suggestions would be gratefully received. Um, a while back, uh, I was at uh, an angling store and I was inquiring about waders and I said, oh, I don't need the boots because, you know, I've already got a pair of boots. And the guy behind the counter said, oh, well, you really ought to buy the boots as well because the waders are often made to fit the boots. Is that true? I don't know. You seem to be pretty convinced of it. What do you guys think? Put that in the comments below. 
There's a quite a definitive channel down that side over by the trees. Seeing a bit of movement and a bit of life down there. I've caught now. The brown trout. Ah, oh, little brown trout. I'm very, very eager. Oh dear me. Oh god. Yeah, I'll just go back and get a cup of tea. Uh, just dry off for a bit. See what. So, oh god, look at this. Ooh. Hmm. That's made a meal for something. A big cockfish. Been dead a few days.
So I've moved up now to the top of the fishery because the guy, uh, the guide, John, told me it's worth a cast up here. And he's also given me this funky little fly to try out, which is really nice of him, you know. Again, I go back to how many people have been so friendly and helpful here. So, I don't know what the pool's called. I did know, but it's, it's not. I will put the name of the pool up a little bit later. Leaf. So I fish this for an hour or so. I think it's between, there's that tree there, I think I'm sure he said between that tree and that tree down there and this bush and that tree is the hot spot. So, we shall see. I'm glad I persevered actually. I was, I was getting quite cold and a bit demoralized and I thought, oh, you know, I'll knock it on the head. But you know what, this, as I say, this could be my last day. So why don't we just persevere for a, a little while longer? Oh, my knee is killing me.
just perched precariously on this on these rocks and oh, bollocks. Oh fuck's sake. Look at this. It's ridiculous. did say it was a challenging weight, and it certainly is. I think um, fishing through this pool is going to be dictated not by uh, time, but me picking my way through uh, down the river. It looks like a 
bit of an easier bit. Wow! Well, you saw that on the camera. There's a lot of big lumps about. A lot of big fish moving. Three more casts, and then I'm call, definitely calling it quits. This is coming up, I think, to about two o'clock. Come on fish, now or never. Now or never. Okay, I'm going to do last three casts now then. I'm not going to move any more than this. One for the river. One for me. And one for luck. This is the fly the, the, that John, the guide, gave me to, to use. Wee Willy Winky. Really small. Okay. Right, that's it. Right, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me uh, once again. Thank you uh, for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing salmon fishing videos a uh, couple of knocks today um, one small like 
salmon par or little brown trout up of the just down here by the hut but nothing doing well i certainly gave it a good go thank you so much for joining me i'll see you next time proper job